All right, Chris, uh, we're at 911 Aransas again. Uh, wanted to do another video after walking through it uh, with the contractor uh, so that we could kind of walk through all of the work that needs done. Again, um, I'll get to the, the doors here on the front one from the inside. We're gonna cover the whole house again. Um, simple things like the, the register there, just to point that out. Uh, it's a vent for the foundation. Uh, it's an inexpensive screen to get. So, uh, all right, starting in the, in the living room here, uh, there's two AC registers. Uh, there's a, a big crack that was repaired here. I believe this was an addition uh, where the tile floors it used to be front patio uh, and they enclosed it in. That needs retaped and floated. Um, so you have to retexture that part of the ceiling. The floor, the transition here, there's big chunks of grout missing. So it's going to need regrouted on this section. Uh, the whole door needs framed out and the baseboards uh, aren't complete. So the baseboards need to be completed and finished in here. Um, two registers. We'll get to the kitchen in a moment. Uh, moving into the, the bedroom, there's no door in bedroom number one. Uh, the door frames need cleaned up. The Around most of the lights, uh, the sockets, there's gaps that will need to be repaired. Sheetrock repair needed around the door frame. Uh, the ceiling uh, is going to need to be uh, sanded partially uh, since it's mostly smooth the way they shot the texture uh, in here uh, we need a, a closet door uh, so we'll need the door frame cased out on the door uh, in the closet it'll need a shelf and a bar and uh, just the closet entrance door cleaned up before the doors installed and then around most of the outlets uh, there's gaps so that just needs to be you know, taken, floated out, and, and repaired. Uh, the whole house is going to need painted. Uh, it's just uh, flowed, uh, sprayed. This crack will need to be fixed. The uh, foundation feels pretty level and solid. Uh, it, there's so a, a little bit of a hump in the middle of the, of the living room here, and it slopes off to the front just a little. The, the front slope is probably sloped that way. Uh, by design, since it used to be a porch, they would want water to run away from the house. Um, moving into bedroom number two here, again, it's the, the door it is incomplete. We need an air register, uh, tape and float around the light. Um, and this whole door frame needs to come off and be redone. You could use these boards here to fix the baseboards that are incomplete here and in the living room. The closet then is the same as the other. Yeah, it needs finished out, needs a door installed, uh, a shelf and a bar. Uh, but the whole uh, door frame does need to be fixed and finished in here. Um, moving into the bathroom. Uh, this door needs adjusted and uh, so that it closes right and that it has the right daylight. We simply need this a, a switch plate cover um, and then we need light fixtures. We need a light there. We need a cover for the exhaust fan and the light fixed above the shower. Uh, and the shower needs to be re-grouted uh, up through the top up there and the, the grout cleaned up on both sides. Uh, and then there's a, a hole in the sheetrock around the toilet. Um, da -da. Moving into the, the kitchen, uh, there's a big piece of the ceiling here that needs to be retaped and floated. Uh, air registers there. Uh, and then the lights around, around the lights need to be cleaned up. Uh, we need a stove. Uh, and then the microwave is going to need to be lowered with the stove there. Uh, anyone that's shorter than I am is going to have a hard time accessing the microwave. Uh, 
the uh, all around up here around this box and the, the tape and float uh, it needs fixed up through there another register um, and then he was telling me um, that we need to do something to allow the refrigerator to breathe because stuff in it back in there isn't going to be good for it. Uh, more cleanup for around the island plug there um, moving into the dining area we need a light fixture uh, with some sheetrock repair on the ceiling if you wanted that to be perfect uh, we will need a door frame built in uh, on the entrance into the uh, floor uh, into the laundry room I'm sorry uh, we'll need a door frame around the exterior door with some some sheetrock repair in here um, we need a light fixture we need an air register the whole house needs painted uh, and then this the door frame sealed out and taped and flowed off and, and cleaned up um, I believe somewhere in here also um, the water heater is gonna have to go uh, we, we the water heater is I don't, not here I'm not sure where it's plumbed into uh, it'll need to be found uh, again that seems got a, a big crack in it there uh, the air conditioner door um, needs to be framed out and have a door installed to close off the air conditioner and then at the top will need to be sheetrock taped and floated to blend in we'll need a light fixture uh, installed in the hallway uh, again the tape and float through a lot of the house a lot of the work that was done looks to be poorly completed there's this whole corners chewed up uh there real inconsistent uh texture and floating um there's a chance that the water heater i don't see any plumbing in here so this isn't going to be a water heater closet uh, but this door needs to be closed off uh, and then there needs to be some sort of ceiling installed into this room as well. Uh, here, this we can be fixed with the transition to close that, close up the flooring, and then put a transition to go from the bedroom to the to this wood floor. Um, this tile is broken really badly, uh, and so it's then hoping that we can find a matching tile. Maybe there's one in the attic or an extra one. Um, to hopefully be able to fix that one tile right in the entrance. <sighs> this is how they were accessing the attic. Um, so it need, either needs to become a proper entrance to the attic or just closed off and sealed up. In this room, then we need two AC registers and six different light covers. Um, the brickwork uh, needs to be closed off here. Uh, and we can cap that with something decorative. Uh, the tape and float throughout the whole ceiling and on the walls is very sloppy in this room. Um, and then around the windows, it's incomplete. Um, a lot of the plugs, uh, it's not complete around the plugs. So that's gonna all need to be fixed. Uh, and then again, with that plug there. In the bathroom, we need a door installed uh, the framework is not complete around either doors. Uh, and then the cracks need to be fixed and sealed. Uh, this bathroom needs a vanity, uh, two light fixtures, and an exhaust fan, and then another AC register. Uh, into the shower, um, other than just cleaning up, the drain needs to be installed, so the tile is going to have to be broken out. And installed and then a shower head installed as well um, some big big gnarly patches in the sheetrock in the ceiling here uh, moving into the closet door frame uh, needs framed out and finished uh, this wall is gonna have to have something built out to close it because the door frames here there's a big gap so something will have to be built to close that off uh, we need a light fixture in here, and then the whole ceiling's got this big 
breaks in the, the patch lines. So this whole ceiling will probably need to be sanded, taped and floated and sealed off again uh, in this bedroom. Uh, the videos are a lot longer when we sit and pinpoint every little detail on, on the house. Um, moving into this room, uh, taped and floated in the sheetrock here uh, and blended in. You're going to need a handrail, uh, especially if you're planning on putting a tenant in here. Uh, the wall will need to be sealed off and closed. Uh, this is exterior wall. Uh, that will need to be cleaned up as well. Uh, you're getting your flooring done in this room. Uh, the whole room will need sanded and painted. Um, maybe, maybe you could get away with just painting it. Um, and then I would close these, take these doors and windows out and put um, just permanently installed windows is what I, I would recommend doing here. And then painting the outside same with this, I'd probably remove the door completely. Um, this having this one be your in and out access. To bedroom number four, uh, when we were talking about it yesterday, kind of brain farted and missed it, that there are two bedrooms in the front and then the master. I'm gonna walk around through the backyard again and point out some, some stuff there. Uh, and we, we, I wrote a list with, with all this stuff on it. Uh, so coming back into the, the backyard, looking at the, the air conditioner that's here. Um, it is an older unit. Uh, the power's hooked up. Uh, but we we're noticing the, uh, none of the, Freon lines are run. I don't even see the copper lines running out of the house. So I don't I don't know where they're at. Uh, based off of the electrical system and the pad that this is on, I believe the AC's been been here for a while. Um, however, I don't know where the copper lines are. So you're gonna have to have new copper lines run um, under the house um, or up through the attic to get to the air conditioner on the inside, uh, which is definitely a wild card um, in cost. Uh, the deck needs to be uh, either stained or um, you can pressure wash it and seal it and it'll close off. Uh, that door will open up and make sure it's cleaned up on the outside. Um, the siding just needs a little bit of cleaned up this to prevent water penetration uh, and, and it, it causing it to fail. This door is closed off. That was actually in the master closet. Uh, and it was closed off here. This is either from where the AC used to be or where the water heater used to be. And, uh, cause this is like the, the overflow drains for, and the exhaust for the water heater. Um, but I, the water heater is not in the house. So I'm not sure where it's plumbed for, uh, there's a bunch of overspray on the skirting of the house that, that should be cleaned up. And then on the windows, when they were installed, uh, there's no framing on, on this one. And that will need to be addressed. Uh, the whole board's gone. Uh, and then this one isn't even nailed into place. So it's just balancing up there uh, like a magic trick. So um, another big opening to the foundation over here as well uh and it looks like the entire electrical system is not hooked up and uh so the house will need uh rewired and the rest of the breakers ran and installed as well i missed that yesterday i did i didn't see that one so um they have the gas shut off and, and locked by by the city here on the meter. Uh, and then it's gonna show the insulation. It's hard to see into the house. Uh, the foundation looks to be in, in pretty solid shape though. So uh, with the, the AC and the electrical and the plumbing work, um, 
it, this could be uh, a much more expensive job. The house is so big and nice. It's in the, it's in the right neighborhood. It could easily be worth two seventy five, three hundred. Um, it just needs to be finished. So I hope this helps. Let me know what you think.